Hey guys, I'm here, and as you can see, I'm not in my usual environment. I am wherever editing time decides that I should be. And these are a bunch of NFC tags. Also, this is the third installment to my playlist slash series here on the channel called Gadget Extravaganza. And you can check it out using the link below. So what the f are NFC tags, Heim? Let me tell you. NFC stands for Near Field Communication, and it basically allows phones that are capable of taking advantage of such technology to store and transfer information from this hair-thin coil of wire. Being such thin devices, this kind of technology can be embedded in student ID cards, for example. The chips can be carrying unique identification numbers and allows for such things as contactless credit card payments, and even business owners can have NFC tags in their business and let people post something on Facebook whenever they choose to use it. That's all fine and dandy, Heim, but who can use them? Well, since it uses wireless charging technology, phones that are capable of wireless charging may also use NFC tags. But if your device is not one of the above mentioned, you may also purchase an adapter for wireless charging and it will let you use those tags. So how the hell can one use them? Personally, I know of two apps on Android that do the job and I use them every day for different things. Both of them use a variety of triggers such as NFC, Wi-Fi, geolocation, but NFC is where we're going to focus here. The first one called Trigger is a free app and I use this mainly with an NFC tag right by my front door. And I use Trigger to set two actions. One action is when I leave home, called I'm out, and it turns off Wi-Fi, turns on Bluetooth to connect to my watch, turns off auto-synchronization so it doesn't consume my battery when there's nothing to synchronize, and turns the screen time out to 30 seconds instead of 60 that I usually have it. The other one does the exact opposite. When I get home, I pass my phone by the NFC tag and triggers a task called finally home. This turns on Wi-Fi, turns off Bluetooth because I don't need my watch, synchronization and 60 seconds screen timeout. Trigger is a free app to use, but as you can see, most triggers are included in the Pro version, which costs $2.99, but NFC, the one we are focusing on, is included in the free pack. So what are the pros of using this technology? Well, it's easier to toggle multiple settings on your phone instead of going to the settings. Still finding Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, auto synchronization and whatnot. It's very cheap. I got a deal of 10 for 10 euros, plus two extra, plus a keychain that I keep on my bag. I will try and find it again and link it down below for you guys. Also, NFC tags are passive, which means they don't need an external power supply to work. Comms, well, these devices don't do any actual processing, they just store information. So they rely on a smartphone, in this case, to transfer the information. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe for more colorful content. Thanks for watching.